Hello everybody, my name is Nicola and welcome back to my channel. This is the Frugal Cottage where we talk all things we need to help you on your financial journey. Today's video is my budget with me for November 2024 so don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get started. So you can see I've already kind of set this up a bit. This is just my budget planner and that I use every single month if you're new here. I love this system. These are available on my Etsy store if you want to but this is it and I've already stuck some stickers in because I, I do like a sticker. So I'm starting a new one because I finished the last one, or I will do by the end of October. So I thought I'd just go through what my aims of the month are, one of expenses, no spend days, my actual budget for variable expenses, and then how I'm feeling because things have changed again. <laughs> um, and there's lots of stuff going on behind the scenes now, again, even though I thought it was all over. So yeah, but that's been said. So um, I'm just going to zoom in slightly so you can read this a bit better. So the aims for the month, I actually want it to be, I can't decide whether to have a no spend month again or just, I'm just going to put a low spend month. Low spend. And that's because obviously December's really expensive. My birthday's in December, my youngest son's birthday is in December, there's Christmas in December, December's an expensive month. So I feel like November has to be like as controlled as possible within reason because obviously I want to try and start my Christmas shopping and get things done but and there's other things going on now but it has to be a low spend month I think just because and also can you read what this sticker says this says align your actions to your goals and I thought that was a really good one to put to kind of remind myself why I do this all the time a because it's necessary because I need to stick to a budget but b in theory it's supposed to help me with my longer term goals at the moment there's lots of other stuff going on. So one of expenses, I don't think there are any. Like I said, I want to start Christmas shopping, but I've got my Christmas sinking fund binder. Um, so I don't think, in terms of that, I don't think there are any. And then no spend day aim. I'm going to put as 18 again, which is the same as October. And I know there's one less day in November, but even so, that should be that should be fairly doable. I feel at this stage. So if I move over to this and just again zoom in so you can see these a bit easier. So I put my food budget up to £190 in October but and I think I well I already know I've gone over it because I needed to restock things but actually I now need to scale that back again. It, it It's never ending. So I think what I'm going to do for my food budget is I'm going to put it at £180 because that's for me and my two children. £180 and hopefully that will do although I t we'll see I'm going to try my best anyway to keep to that and um, petrol wise so again November's just a normal month it's just work and school for them and all kind of stuff so £250 to petrol is such a big expense of mine now household I'm going to put at £20 and hope that we don't need anything particularly in household wise miscellaneous Again, I'm going to put £20. They're, I guess, slightly interchangeable. It depends what the depends how I feel about the day, I guess. Um, but in terms of, I just need them to be lower. I just need everything to be lower, I guess. Children, so their budget always stays at £100, but actually I don't go anywhere near that. So I think I'm going to put theirs at £50 and see what happens. I always feel really guilty that I don't. I don't have enough for them. Anyway, cats is is thirty pounds, and then eating out, I'm going to put ten pounds. And just hope. So, what does that add up to? Five hundred and sixty pounds adds up to. That's still such a lot of money. Anyway, so that's my favourite expenses done. And then if I just move down, you can see I've got an emergency fund. I'm, I'm going to put, I'm going to hope to put £10 in my emergency fund, which clearly doesn't get very far. But I need, I just, yeah, I need to keep working on getting that bill up to that first £1,000. No matter how long it takes me, I'm going to do that. So that's my favourite expenses all set up there. Um, and hopefully I can stick to those this month as well. So, turning over... I don't need to fill those in. So no spend day tracker. So I've said I'm going to aim for 18. And I'm going to use, so I used orange and brown for 
uh, October for the No Spend Day Tracker. I don't know what colours to use. I might use uh, I might use purple this month, but I'll fill in. So yes, it's going to be one colour, and no, it's going to be the other colour, obviously. And then hopefully that will be fairly straightforward. And then I can't fill in any of these. I have put stickers on because I always like to add like little things in here. Can't fill in any of this kind of stuff. So this is what the budget plan looks like if you've not seen these before. I can't even bet you for the savings aim because if my savings aim is £10 in my emergency fund and I've got that many circles, there's literally no point. So I'm not going to fill in that in. Obviously the one month reflection is there as well. Now my concern I guess for this is that I am wet. So like I said, so my birthday is at the start of December. That's not important, whatever. My youngest son's birthday is also in December. And then there's obviously Christmas. So I am very mindful of the fact that although I've just put these numbers here as my kind of monthly budget, November has the potential to be quite expensive for different sinking fund categories. Now, have I got enough in my sinking fund categories to do what I want to for birthday and Christmas? No. And if you've watched my videos recently, I've been honest about the fact that my sinking funds have not worked like I'd like them to this year, purely because there's not any money to put in them. But those expenses still have to be done and so that I still have to spend money and so although I've said that my fair expenses are £560 in total the sinking funds bit is not and, and it, some of it I'm not entirely sure how this will work if you can't tell from my uh, my explanation there I just I know what my younger son has asked for for his birthday he's asked, he's asked for one thing so I have to get him that regardless of how expensive it is. Um, I can't just get him one thing, can I? Because that's not how birthdays work. So I have to get him more. And yet, I, well, we'll see. It, it, it works. Everything works out in the end. It has to, right? Um, so, and again with Christmas, I mean, it has to work out eventually. And so makes me wonder about what December's budget will also look like as well because obviously it, it, if November is going to be expensive December is even more so and and I I love this time of year the the November December January are my favorite month of the year because kind of you can stay in and be cozy and not have to go anywhere or you know I love the winter months but within the winter months themselves becomes you know becomes additional things to worry about and it is a worry at the moment and you know my channel is about being honest about how my budget looks and about my finances and hopefully making other people feel that the the kind of the lives you see on social media the things that people choose to share may make it seem like everybody has so much more than you and, and it, you know it, not everybody is in that same boat and I promise you you're not alone in that but yeah I'll, I'll stop there otherwise I'll go on a bit of a tangent about kind of what it looks like versus what actually is the reality of people's lives so that is my budget for November 2024 and like I said hopefully I'll be able to stick to all these numbers and then we'll get through to the end of the month and, and feel okay but we'll see. Um, so how is your budget looking for the next month? How is your budget looking overall? As always thank you for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you again very soon.